Hi, Leo. It's here with a weekly reading for the sign of Leo. For the sign of Leo, this reading could resonate with anyone who has Leo strongly in their chart, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. All right, starting off with a nine of wands. Devil energy. Okay, Leo, as you're moving into this week, we have you in the high priestess. So you're in this quiet position. I'm not sure what it is you're doing, but you do have this confidence in yourself and you're really radiating that out um, in the decisions that you're making and really how you feel about the situation you're in. Um, I, I don't really think you're talking a whole lot about it, Leo, but you are feeling that connection to connection into what's more powerful within yourself. It is strong knowing, strong in, inner intuition, and um, connecting into the feminine yin is, is where you, where I see you, Leo, um, in, in the beginning part of this week. Um, there's something here that you have been working at, something here that has been a, a long dream of yours or a concern of yours for a long time. I think that even though you're, you're weary, I think you're tired. I think you have been through quite a lot, Leo. Uh, I think you're recognizing here that there's something special that you've learned about yourself. And it could have even connected to you into something special that you can do, something special that you can take to the next step or take to the next phase um, of life, Leo. So uh, while you are in a place of being bruised and battered and, and looking over uh, your situation, with with almost with a sense of quiet achievement but like oh why am i tired i think you're also seeing here leo that uh, there's something special here for you something very special either for your future or for your confidence or even connecting into to a life path that's there for you i do think that you've connected into something quite special for yourself now there is something here leo that really does um, bring in some complexity uh, I think it's something that that brings you to a place of just feeling that impatience. Um, it is kind of confusing for me, Leo, because I see you here at a very strong and sure place in life, but yet you have this underlying impatience, impatience that's here. Um, it could be that you're feeling a little bit uh, like almost squished or like in someone else's box or you might be looking for a little bit more freedom. You might be looking for just some time to, to let yourself go and let yourself be, be relaxed and kind of get into your own um, certain blissful space. It just feels like you, you, you are looking and you are missing some independence here. Um, Leo, let me go ahead and get into the devil, into the devil energy just a little bit more. Eight of Pentacles. There is something here for you to work on. There, there could be work. This could be, this could be impacting your work. This could be impacting your ability to focus. Um, this could have derailed you from some sort of other project that you had. Tower. It could have made like a mess of things. Yeah, this is such an interesting Leo. It's like something good and something really good and something really difficult is happening at the same time. Okay, and I know this is just a weekly reading, but this is a snapshot of something that's happening to you or to the Leo people, something that you feel good about, something that you're not wanting to move away from. Um, you have learned something quite significant about yourself or connected into something that just, it, it's, it's so healing for the soul. It's so revealing of the self. But yet at the same time, there's this urgency. And, and I do feel like there's some sort of great distraction here. And it might have taken you away, taken you away from something that you had been working on. Um, it could have brought, this could have happened and created some sort of a, like an upheaval in, in the way that you always have been, in your methods to your madness, in the quality of life that you experience from day to day. There could have been a shakeup here. Uh, and I think that you are, um, as the week goes through, I think you are experiencing now something really pleasurable about your situation. Um, you could be receiving some sort of a promotion or some sort of a, um, a, a commission might be coming in or some sort of a gift might be here for you, Leo, in the middle of the week. 
But I think um, in, a, in a little bit of a deeper level, Leo, I think that you guys are in, in some way here making plans to move into um, a place of more independence in the future. Whatever this is, in the middle of the week, you're realizing that it's going to be important for you to kind of step out of the box here, kind of step into your own realm um, and get back into it for yourself. Uh, I, I think here you could have been take, somehow taken away from something that was kind of important to you, but also in this thing that you were doing has helped you become quite strong in knowing who you are. This is a self-revealing that happened. And I feel like in the middle of the week here, you are going to be realizing the importance of making your own plans and moving forward into something. There is something here that you're working on, Leo. At the, at the middle of the week, you kind of switch over to the magician. You move from the high priestess, which is this intuition, this strong knowing, this deep inner confidence. And now you're moving into the magician, like kind of putting yourself into some sort of envisioning, um, envisioning and making something work for you. Uh, for the future, because we we're moving from the Nine of Pentacles into the Six of Swords, now moving forward even more into the Nine of Pentacles, moving into the Ten to the Knight of Pentacles, moving into the Ten of Pentacles. Um, there's something you're working on, Leo. That's that's going to help to bring in more money, bring in more stable movement, more progress as far as income for the family, or something that brings in betterment. Maybe material possessions, maybe income, maybe some sort of home maintenance or home repair. There's something here that helps to bring in further safety and security for the family or for the family unit, for the legacy of who you are. This could be in a company that you own. It could be for a household that you have, for a family legacy that you're involved in. But I do see you at work here, Leo. Um, developing some sort of a plan or some sort of um, a way of moving forward that not only brings you further income and not only brings you independence and the ability to make your own choices, but I think it helps you financially, Leo. Um, something here, Leo, that's helping you financially and you're busy here at the, at the second part of this week, um, connecting into how you might do that. What are the plans for that? Um, how much will it cost? Um, hmm. I'm going to go into that devil energy. Four of Pentacles, Three of Wands. See, Leo, you have made it through. You have made it through. And I think this, this was something that you had to do. I think you were required to do. You have made it through. But it really keeps you at a minimum. Something has been kind of keeping you at a minimum. And I think you are looking um, and really moving forward to a better day for yourself. Um, whatever you've been through has, has been hard for you, but it has brought you this deep knowing of who you are. You do have a stronger confidence than you've ever had before, Leo. And even though you've made it through and you're doing okay, there is a goal here or some kind of a dream or some sort of a new appeal of something that really does help you to kind of spur you forward into making something bigger and better than it was before. It's like you're stair-stepping off of something else. Uh, let's go into the Nine of Pentacles. To the Nine of Pentacles for Leo. The Nine of Pentacles for Leo. Knight of Cups. This, you're doing this. The, the reasons for this are, are for love. They are for the people that you love and for your own self-care and for your own enjoyment. These changes that you're working on will, will in many ways bring you from feeling, from a place of feeling quite tired and depleted. Um, and something that brings in betterment here for you financially and more independence to make better choices for yourself. 
um, moving into the higher font, like connecting back into a system. There's some sort of a connection here into a bigger system, whether it's a religion or a workplace, or it could even be like a university or a major corporations, a place and a system that has its own identity, like an education system or a religious organization um, or a government, like something that you're like connecting back in with. But this has also been something that's been quite difficult to understand and difficult to move through. But I do feel that this progress you're making and the decisions that you're making here and some of the planning that you're doing is being done in the name of love, in the name of those that you love, in the name of your own um, betterment. And it's helping you to move out of a lifestyle or out of a job or out of a relationship um, that has just been really, truly overwhelming and difficult for you. Um, and it, it does feel like it's connecting into something that is um, somehow has some control over society in some way. You could be working here, something new that you've understood about yourself um, and some new capacity you have could be helping you to see um, how to negotiate a path moving down the road that would be um, more freeing and more independent for you, but also keep you connected in to financial well-being something that's helping you to stay connected in to financial well-being. And it's something that you are in the process of dreaming up or concocting or creating in the mind, putting it down on paper here, putting it down on paper. I think you've already seen like how it can work. You've really already seen that, but you are moving forward in, in a very careful way to bringing in new stability, new progress, new potential, new income, into the family, into the well-being. Um, there is a bigger goal here, Leo. There is a bigger goal here for you. And I think that ultimately you are thinking of that goal and making changes and, and having realizations and making changes uh, that will help you connect into that bigger goal, which is long-term stability, long-term health, um, long-term abundant growth and cohesiveness with one another with the Ten of Pentacles. So yeah, you are moving in that direction, Leo. This is a strong week for you, Leo. If anything, it's going to it's going to help you to start planning for the future, um, being very visionary about having some further control in your income, in your scheduling, perhaps in in the in the plans and the progress as you move forward. And yeah, the mind and the envisioning is really busy here, Leo, in the second half of this week. All right. Um, all right, Leo, thank you very much for being here. It is a pleasure uh, to read for you. I hope all of you are doing well. For those of you um, looking forward to the extended reading, um, feel free to move over to the platform and to the link that I have listed in the video description box below. And for some of, and for the rest of you who are moving back out to YouTube, thank you all very much for being here. It is a pleasure to read for you. Um, I love doing it. Wishing you guys all the best. Stay healthy, stay well, and I will see you back here next week. I'm with a reading for Leo. Thank you.